Happy New Year, uh, my dear Paulinians. So, ngayon, kailangan natin tapusin ang 7, 8, 9, and 10 commandment kung kaya natin. Kaya ngayon ay uh, simplehan ko na lang yung ito ngayon ay 7th commandment. Alam naman natin ang 7th commandment ay You shall not steal. So, tignan natin yung mga yan. Yung mga mga biblical references na connected dyan sa Thou shall not steal. You shall not steal. Ang Exodus chapter 20 verse 15, Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 19, and Matthew chapter 19 verse 18. Tignan po natin. Yan, sa Exodus chapter 20 verse 15, nakalagay, no? You shall not steal. Huwag kang magnakaw. And then sa Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 19, Bababasa po natin, neither shall you steal. So, pangalawang biblical passage. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi lang minsan, kundi palang pangalawa na, na wag kang magnakaw. Then, sa Matthew chapter 19 verse 18, yan, mababasa natin, He said to him, which, and Jesus said, You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. Sa so, binanggit ni Jesus, ang uh, wag kang magnakaw sa biblical passage na yan. Kaya anong ibig sabihin ng uh, thou shall not steal? Okay? Ang ibig sabihin po ay itong seventh commandment na ito, Fino forbid unjustly taking or keeping the goods of one's neighbor and wronging him in any way with respect to his goods. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng thou shall not steal. No? Kukunin mo, ikikip mo ang goods ng iba na hindi sa'yo. And wronging him in any way with respect to his goods. Uh, sisirain mo, kukunin mo yung mga possessions, properties, goods, pagmamayari ng iba. So, ito pong binibigay ng Catechism of the Catholic Church 2407 regarding sa wag kang magnakaw. Ito ay isang respeto, respect for persons and their goods. Ibig sabihin may paggalang ka sa iba kung hindi mo sila ninanakawan. No? Hindi lang yung mga bagay, kundi yung tao mismo ang ginagalang mo. In economic matters, respect for human dignity no, yung mga magnanakaw ay walang galang sa dignidad ng iba. Requires the practice of the virtue of uh, temperance. So, wag natin yan. Itong, itong kwan natin, yung 24408. Uh, no? Respect for the goods of others. Okay, so, erase nyo yung 2407. The seventh commandment forbids theft. Yung pagnanakaw. Ang ibig sabihin, that is usurping another's property usurp no? kukunin mo another's property against the reasonable will of the owner baka ayaw ng iba no? so tignan natin ang ibig sabihin ng usurp so ito pong ibig sabihin ng usurp no? to seize and hold no? in possession by force or without right to make, to take or make use of without right. So, ibig sabihin, kinukuha natin ng pagmamayraari ng iba na wala tayong karapatan, no? Against the reasonable will of the owner. There is no theft, wala rin pagnanakaw, if consent can be presumed. Kahit wala yung tao ay okay lang sa kanya. Or if refusal, okay, kahit na mag-refuse yung tao is contrary to reason, no, is contrary to reason. For example, no, yung uh, bawa may may sunog, tapos uh, yung sasakyan ng owner ay wala yung owner don, i move mo ay uh, kahit ayaw niya, no, pero baka masusunog, so okay lang yun. And the universal destination of goods. No? Sabi uh, nag-hoarding ka ng mga bigas. 
no? Maraming nagugutom, so pwedeng kunin 'yon, no? Kahit ayaw ng ng tao. So itong something kakaiba sa turo ng katesismo. Okay? This is the case in obvious and urgent necessity. Talagang urgent na urgent na when the only way to provide for immediate essential needs, no? food, shadow, cold clothing is to put at one's disposal and use the property of others. Okay? So, yun lang. In case of emergency, pwedeng kunin ng pagmamayari ng iba. No? Kasi sa universal destination of goods. So, yan ay based sa sa Gaudio Metispes, no? sa number 69, sa, sa Article 1. Na binasa ko yan ay agandang basahin yan para maunawaan natin na pwede pala natin kunin ang pagmamayari ng iba no? basta presumed yung consent and then also eh, kahit na mag-refuse siya eh, okay lang kasi for the sake of the universal of the goods at necessity pero wag naman yung kukunin yung pagmamayari ng iba kung hindi naman necessity alright kasi mga basic food, clothing and shelter So anong anong gagawin mo kapag ikaw ay nagnakaw? O ikaw ay nanakaw? So dahil meron tayong commutative justice, ito yung justice between or among individuals, reparation ng kailangan. No? For injustice committed requires the restitution of stolen goods so their own. Kailangan ibalik kung ano man ninakaw o yung halaga. Okay? So Jesus blesses Zacchaeus for his pledge. If I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. Okay, yan ay based sa Luke chapter 19 verse 8. Yung sinabi ni Zacchaeus. Okay? Okay, those who directly or indirectly have taken possession of the goods of another are obliged to make restitution of them or to return the equivalent in kind or in money if the goods have disappeared as well as the profit or advantages their owner would have legitimately obtained from them. Bawa, uh, ninakaw mo yung, for example, yung bawa sa akin yung ito, itong cellphone na ito. Dito ako nag-game, no? ninakaw mo yung sasakyan hindi lang yung sasakyan kundi rin yung income na nawala okay? likewise all who in some manner have taken part in a theft or have knowingly benefited from it for example those who ordered it assisted in it or received the stolen goods are obliged to make restitution in proportion to their responsibility and to their share of what was stolen kaya natin na lagi nating tatandaan no? you shall not is still neither thieves nor the greedy nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God okay the seventh commandment forbids theft theft is the usurpation of another's goods against the reasonable will of the owner and then every manner of taking and using another's property unjustly is contrary to the seventh commandment. The injustice committed requires reparation. Commutative justice requires the restitution of stolen goods. Ang pagnanakaw ay mapapatawad lang kapag ibabalik natin yung ninakaw natin o kung nawala ni nanakaw natin yung halaga no? or kapalit or at pati rin yung uh, possible income na nawala dahil sa pagnanakaw natin. So, this is just simple explanation of the seventh commandment kasi gahol na tayo sa oras, my dear Paulinians. So, at least maalam ninyo ito, itong ibig sabihin ng seventh commandment. <music>